Much I'm called Jolly Businge uh, from Itungo Pastures. Any person out there who is planning to, to do zero grazing, uh, if I'm to advise, I may advise that you begin by planting pastures. Uh, as I have told you at Itungo Pastures, we do pasture seeds and seedlings. We have very many varieties. Uh, someone who is planning to do zero grazing, the pastures that you're supposed to have, they must be three categories. Uh, first of all, you should do plant pastures that are very good for making silage. And uh, such pastures include maize. At Itungo Pastures, maize is also a fodder plant. Uh, you must plant napier grass. Uh, you must plant forage sorghum or what we call sugar graze. Uh, that category can help you to make silage. Then you also need pastures that can help you to make hay or what we call uh, dry grass. Uh, and the pastures that can help you to make dry grass, we have uh, the likes of uh, Chloris Guyana, uh, we have Bracaria mulatto, we have uh, Bracaria cobra, then there is Panicum taman, it is also very good for making hay. Uh, another third category that someone who is doing zero grazing requires is the protein supplements. And the pastures that can help you to get proteins for your animals, uh, first and foremost, you need the um, alfalfa or lusan. We refer that as queen of forages because of its high protein content. Uh, then you also need to plant the smodium. Uh, you need lab lab. There are very many varieties that can still help you to get protein supplements. When we go to fodder trees, they are also specifically for proteins. Uh, there you can plant Caliandra, you can have Sesbania, you can have Lucina. All those can help you to get very high protein content for your animals. You may not need all the varieties, but you can have, as I have mentioned them, when we go to pastures that will help you to make silage, you may need like one variety or two. For example, you can have nepia grass or maize. Uh, then when it comes to hay, because when you're feeding, uh, animals do not feed on one variety of a pasture. You need a combination of carbohydrates, you need energy, you need vitamins, and you need proteins. So you can have like one pasture that can help you to have silage. You have another one that can help you to have hay. Then also you need a protein supplement. And when it comes to feeding, you need to combine all those in order for your animal to have a very good balanced diet. Yeah, if you have a small piece of land, such a person I would advise you to begin by planting pastures on that small land that you own, then you first preserve your pastures. Silage is very simple. Once you have planted your napier grass or maize, you can have the silage cutting machine. Or even if you do not own a silage cutting machine, you can still hire someone. You keep on harvesting, you hire someone with a silage cutting machine, he comes and chops for you, you ensile, and then after 21 days, your silage is ready for you to feed your animals. So you can keep on stocking your silage. When you feel that what you have stocked can take you like for a year or even six months, depending on your plans, I don't know the, your budget, how many animals you want to begin with, but all in all, after you have fully stocked your silage and maybe hay, there you can restock and bring your animals. That land can manage to have either cows or even goats on a small piece of land. Yeah, thank you. The waste, waste management has been a very big problem to mostly urban farmers. Even these people with the square miles of land still it is a problem, but very it has been a very big problem to small farmers. Uh, you can have a biogas plant. Uh, you have seen how we have been handling these soldiers here. They have seen the biogas plant whereby 
you get that fresh cow dung that has methane gas, which has been a problem to farmers who are applying to their plants. Once you have a biogas plant, you keep on removing that methane and actually you also use it to cook in form of a gas and then the dung that is free from methane gas, that one can be applied direct to your plants and it does no harm.